Center. I'm Miss Donna, the founder, and I've been out doing some presentations lately, and one of the, the, well, I've been doing presentations for many years, and some of the feedback that I hear um, from professionals and parents as we're working together is that the examples that I provide, like the real life examples of how to apply some of the things they are learning can be really helpful. And Nadine and I, my co-author and, and colleague in the past, have talked about and done presentations on what we call a million little moments where we just talk about, you know, social coaching, what it looks like, what it feels like, how it works, and using the aha moments that we have that kids experience um, at our centers. So I wanted to share some of those with you as we go along. And this morning, the one that's coming to my brain, the, the example of social coaching, is about tattling and how to stop that because tattling is such a huge issue for kids. You know, and tattling is really just meant to get somebody else in trouble or it's a problem a child could solve by themselves and doesn't or it's a small thing, an accident could have happened. Certainly children need to know the difference between tattling and telling telling is we call a big super earthquake problem you know if somebody's getting hurt either emotionally or physically we definitely want kids to come to an adult and talk to us about that and we teach kids how to approach an adult so as far as tattling goes some of the best ways to stop it is to first tell kids um, that there's three words they need to remember if somebody is bothering them or doing something they don't like or even not following the rules so we teach the kids to sit, to talk, walk, and ask. So first t teach your child to use a stick up for yourself sentence. I don't like that, I want you to stop. Or I want you to leave me alone. Or that's not funny. Or I don't like the way this is going on, I don't want to play anymore. And coming at that using I statements in a really strong stick up for yourself sentence. Followed by, if whoever is still bothering them is still being a pest or bothering them, teach your child to walk away. Just say, you know what, I'm out of here. Or I'm going to go do something else. Now if that doesn't work and then a child needs help from us as an adult and needs to tell that something's not working or they're trying to resolve it and it's not happening, teach a child to, to approach you by saying, I have a problem, I've tried to do the first two steps and it's not working and I need some help. Which is way better than, you know, Johnny won't let me have a turn on the swing and, and tattling. So. Uh, an example of working with kids who tattle would be my friends uh, Grace and uh, Tyler. This was a couple of few years ago, but Grace came running into the group room from the other room w with Tyler behind her. And she's like, Tyler's writing bad words on your whiteboard. And of course, Tyler has the deer in the headlight thing going on because he's afraid he's going to be in trouble. And I looked at Grace and I said, Grace, that's tattling. And she didn't like that at all. She stopped her right in her tracks. And I said, I don't like to hear tattling. That's not nice. So I kind of got like a frump from Grace, and she turned and went away. And I looked at Tyler, and I said, hey, buddy, well, now she's thrown you under the bus, per se. And <laughs> What are we going to do about this? And he looked at me and goes, I know I was not supposed to do that. I'll just go erase them, and I won't do it again. And I said, that's cool. You know, good. Thank you for doing that. And she really shouldn't have tattled on you, but you do know the rules. So. That diffused the whole situation. You know, I, I let you know Grace know that this is not okay, but I also got to make clear to Tyler that the rules kind of need to be followed, but he figured that out for himself. Now, had he been in trouble, there would have just been a big argument between the two of them. So stopping tattling in its tracks is basically saying to the child, that's tattling, I don't like it. All right, now you might have some very reliable informers or chronic tattlers amongst us. And so they, they have the need, some kids have the drive and the, the need for other kids to follow the rules so badly that they will constantly tattle and no matter what you try to do, they'll still tattle. So my technique or my strategy for that, for the most part, is to say to the kid who's coming to report something to me, I'll say, you know what, thank you for the information and I will take it from here. Then I decide whether or not I want to intervene on that or simply just let it go, but the tattler has sort of gotten his um, fix for tattling. So hopefully that helps a little bit with being able to manage your tattler or to work, work with kids on tattling. 
and I look forward to seeing you for the next um, little moment. Thank you.